Many of the events of World War II are surrounded by mysteries and legends. Many people have heard at least once in their lives about Tonka the Machine Gunner, a real executioner of her time. Her full name was Antonina Makarova, born in 1921 in the village of Malaya Volkovka in Smolensk. Tanya was listed as a nurse in the Red Army, a poor girl who survived the events of the Vyazemsky Cauldron. The girl wandered through the woods, trying to save her life. After a while she came to the village of Lokit in Brian's China. The girl did not yet know that there were collaborators operating in the village. The first thing the local patrol did was to arrest Tanya, but they did not sign her up as a partisan. Everything worked out just the opposite, the young and pretty beauty fell into the eyes of the policeman. She was fed, drunk, and of course taken advantage of sexually, although Tanya did not particularly mind, just to survive, that was all. Antonina was a girl of easy virtue for a short time. Once, when she was drunk, they put her behind a Maxim machine gun and ordered her to kill all the poor prisoners in front of the wall. Her mind, clouded by schnapps, did not understand what had just happened. From that moment on she became known as Tonka the machine gunner, a personal executioner with a salary of 30 marks. It cannot be said that Makarova did not like her job, murders in the morning, dances, and men's embraces in the evening. During her work, the executioner killed 1,500 people. A terrible figure was on the record of the torture chamber. But this beautiful existence was coming to an end, the Red Army was going to liberate Brian's China. Tanya was very lucky to catch syphilis in time, she was sent to the rear, as she had already infected quite a few soldiers. Not everything went so smoothly, the Soviet troops marched at an astonishing rate, and were already approaching the hospital where the girl was actually treated. Only the Germans managed to escape, the rest stayed behind and waited for the Red Army to arrive. Tony's survival experience was simply stunning. She managed to forge documents that proved the following, Antonina Makarova had worked in a Soviet hospital all her life, as a nurse. She was believed, Tonka the machine gunner had sunk into oblivion. She managed to marry well and become Antonina Ginsburg. Antonina managed to live more than 30 years with impunity, but justice does not sleep. All this time the KGB searched for the executioner. The news about Tokenka the machine gunner spread like a rumor immediately after the liberation of Bryanchkina. In fact, her family surname was Parfanova, but since childhood, at the light hand of her teacher, she became Makarova. The children did not recognize the surname of the Parfenovs, since she was the daughter of Makar, so Makarova. A foolish mistake by the teacher, the most educated resident of the village at the time, created the perfect conditions for hiding her identity. Having gathered all the evidence about the executioner's atrocities, the KGB was able to arrest Antonina. More than 30 years later, justice was restored. Antonina did not hide her atrocities and told everything in detail, hoping for a suspended sentence, but society did not agree. On November 20, 1978, the court sentenced Antonina Makarova Ginsburg to the highest penalty execution. 